Today we're here to look at Seven Tunnel. We are replacing seven kilometres of new track on the Welsh bound side of the railway. It's a 16 day blockade. It gives us the opportunity to hit this job in a single mobilisation, minimal disruption for passengers, affords the opportunity to take all of the track out in one go and replace it. The actual length of the tunnel itself, the actual length of the renewal is much greater than we'd normally do. Normally you're talking about over a weekend period, at most we do around a mile. We're talking 7,000 metres, so several miles this time. It's quite a mammoth job and can take a bit of time. It's, a, it's, it's also important to kind of obviously keep everyone safe throughout the project and throughout the duration of the job, and that's sort of where I come into it. I'm not the only one on, on site doing this job. There are other people, so we will get given a group um, of people. We will then brief these people on the dangers and the risks associated with the job, and then throughout the day, make sure that they're wearing their safety glasses, make sure they're wearing their gloves, um, and that they're wearing all the right equipment when doing certain tasks, and then ideally keep them safe. Day to day has been a right mix between digging, stowing in, sleepers, putting rail in. We've seen the whole process of a renewal um, throughout the whole two weeks. We've seen it all on all different shifts. The main challenge we've faced with this renewal is trying to complete normal renewal activities, but in a tunnel scenario um, and completing these in a safe manner. We've managed to do that throughout the project so far and fingers crossed we'll continue to do this until the track is handed back. Communications, a uh, big difficulty in the tunnel. Thankfully our uh, team from High Motive has taken part and ensured we've got full radio coverage throughout it and then just access and egress. We've got two points of access that we can utilise in order to get staff to and from site and machines to and from site. And uh, once you're in the middle of that tunnel, it's a good long way to the exit and entrance. After the success of 2022 and 2023, renewing the line to my right, which takes us to England, uh, Network Rail and the train operators gave us an opportunity to do the, uh, the line to Wales in one hit, in, in one 16-day blockade. Um, and we, we took the challenge up and we are relishing it. We're completely on target and I'm facing Wales and looking forward to getting out the other end of the tunnel on time. So at the moment, the project is almost complete from an installation perspective. Um, there is quite literally light at the end of the tunnel and then we've just got to do some tamping, some stressing um, and then fully welded, it will be handed back. A lot of these team we use week in, week out. So it's, it's just uh, a bigger number than usual, so obviously our machine suppliers we work with every single week. Uh, a lot of the teams, that, the suppliers that we use for the uh, labour resources we work with every week. We're familiar with the majority of the, uh, of the team itself and it's just that trust we've built up over years really. We have many first aiders throughout the site, very well trained, and then Colas obviously provide us with certain pieces of kits. So we've got trauma kits, we've got first aid kits, we have eye baths, chemical spill kits. Safety is the priority. Everybody deserves to go home. Uh, it's our top goal. So being a part of that is quite special. I enjoy it. So here we are on day 13 of 16. The track is finished in the tunnel. We've relayed our seven kilometers, and now we're in the process of adjusting the overhead line equipment in readiness to uh, reopen on the early hours of Friday morning. I'd like to thank everybody involved um, from SRSA, particularly the King's Norton office. It's been an outstanding effort from all of our supply chain partners, Network Rail, SCO. It's been an outstanding effort and I'm absolutely delighted.